and close your eyes, and watch your breath coming in and going out. If you want, you can use a meditation word along with the breath. We use Bhutto, which means awake, but in, to, out. It's the title of the Buddha. It wasn't his name, it was his title. He gained it because he was awakened. What did he awaken to? He awakened to the fact that human beings cause themselves a lot of unnecessary suffering, and there's a way to stop. And when you stop that, you find a happiness that's beyond what you might think. Which means that if you're looking for why you're feeling stress, why you're feeling suffering in your life, you want to turn inside and look at your own mind. There are plenty of things outside you could focus on, but they, they don't really make the difference. The difference is what is made inside by the way you look at things, by the way you listen, by the way you deal with all your senses, and by the way you think, especially by the way you think. And so we want to be able to watch the mind in action while, while it's thinking to see how does it create suffering and stress. Because it's not the case that the suffering and stress is created now and you only feel it a long time later. You feel it immediately and later as well. It's a combination. But the, you can do something about the stuff that you feel immediately. You can notice okay, when the mind moves like this, when it mi moves under the power of aversion or the power of greed or the power of delusion, it's going to suffer. But if its movements aren't forced by those things, the suffering is a lot less. You find when the mind is really, really still, the suffering is still less. So you want to learn how to use your mind properly, so that when you have to think, you think in ways that are not causing suffering and stress, or causing at least a bare minimum. And when you don't have to think, you've got a place where the mind can rest and be still. This is our path. They would awaken to something more than this, but this is the path that he, he followed. So give your mind a chance to rest with the breath right now. It doesn't have to think about anything else. It doesn't have to take on any of the responsibilities. If you catch it wandering off to think about this or talk to itself about that, you just let it drop. Come right back. Get it used to staying here. And try to let the breath be comfortable, too, because if the breath is not comfortable, you're not going to want to stay. It's like forcing a child to stay in a room and then turning off the air conditioner, turning up, making it miserable inside the room, it's not going to want to stay. As soon as it can find a way out, it's going to go. But if you make the room comfortable, lots of things for the child to play with in the room, then the child's going to stay. It's the same with the mind. You make the mind comfortable right here with the breath and start studying the movements of the mind, studying the movements of the breath, because there's a lot more to the breath than just in and out. And it's, take, it's worth your while to explore this. So when the mind has been still with the breath, okay, then it's, as soon as it starts moving again, you'll notice and you'll be able to see what kind of movements to the mind creating right now. What's forcing it to move right now? That way you start understanding your mind a lot better. If you want to see how the mind moves, first you have to make it still. And the best way to make it still is right here in the present moment with the breath. A sense of ease and well-being, refreshment as you breathe in, refreshing as you breathe out. The mind's going to be willing to settle down and stay right there, and then you can use it to watch what else is going on inside. And that's when you begin to wake up a little bit, too, to the unnecessary stress and suffering you're causing yourself. To so work on this every day, it's an important skill to master. That's what helps us keep our sanity, and we cause a lot less suffering for ourselves and for the people around us.